Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to my 1v1 melee tier list for patch 11.14. Um, this isn't my first tier list technically, but the last one had audio issues and it took over an hour to record, so I wasn't going to redo that. That just sounds awful. Um, but yeah, since then, because some of you have seen this on stream, I separated the C tier list, which was really bulky, into a C and D tier. Uh, the D tier characters I don't want to put as like absolute failures, but they're not great. The C tier list characters have some potential, but they're not necessarily great either. Um, and with that, I'm going to go over some of the changes that have gone on in the patch cycle since then. Uh, some of the things I've been seeing in the tournament that changes some opinions. And we'll get this fully updated. And hopefully this is something I can kind of update every two weeks or so as people are trying out new characters and as the patch cycle changes some stuff out. Um, so first one at the top, we have Trindamir. If you've been playing in our tournaments, you know that Trindamir is a problem. Uh, he's he's just too good. Um, I he is so close to almost being a perma ban for me, and I guess I I think I'm being a little bit biased here by not perma banning him, because I understand there's a few people in our community that really like Trindamir and they like when they get to play him. I don't want to take away that fun from them, but. Trindamir is so good, there's not a lot of counterplay opportunities for Melee Monday. Um, so if the character gets any better, if they, he gets any buffs from Riot, he'll probably go to our uh, permaban list. But for now, he's S rank. He's on the list of you absolutely should permaban this guy if you don't intend to play as him. He's just so good. But I got my eyes on him. Uh, for the A tier, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. Um, we saw Tom Kinch got some changes. Largely, those changes were in favor of Summoner's Rift. I've heard some very good reviews about him, but for 1v1, they largely weren't good. Um, the mobility isn't really that useful for him in melee matchups, and taking his Devour to an ultimate with a long cooldown actually hurt him quite a bit. Now, since that change, he has gotten a little bit of an update. His Q has some, like, a little bit better healing on it. His passive got increased. Uh, for that one patch cycle, I'd have considered him B tier. I think with that, he's moved back up to A, but he's low A right now. Um, I still think he's definitely worth picking. I think anyone in A and B tier is worth picking. But he's he's close. Um, he's a character that could probably be patched, either buffed or nerfed again in the patch cycle. And that might change his uh, where he's at. But for now, we're going to keep Tom Kench and everyone else uh, here in the A tier. Uh, for the B tier, though, we've got a few things we're going to move about, and some of these we talked on stream. Uh, Evelyn, I think Evelyn is an underrated character. I think her passive providing her healing and keeping her out of fight so your opponent doesn't have as many opportunities to engage on you. Uh, I think having some percent max health damage in her kit is really good. Um, I, Evelyn has quite a few things going for her. I might have rated her a little bit too high, though, just because I haven't gotten to actually see anyone play her yet. Um, and with that, I'm going to move her down to C tier. I don't think she's bad. I could move her back up to B tier, but I would need to see some uh, players actually pick her, which I largely don't think is actually going to happen. So unless Evelyn gets like a buffer or something directly from Riot, she's probably just going to be in the C tier purgatory with a lot of the other champions that don't get played. Um, also with that, we have Renekton. Poor Renekton has just been bashed almost every patch uh this has not been a good season for renekton he's been nerfed so many times uh especially his q his sustain has been hit so hard and in 1v1 matchups your sustain is probably the most important thing you can have for your character um and renekton's sustain just being nerfed over and over and over again i don't think he's worth b tier anymore he's not terrible you could still play him he's probably on the higher side of t but I don't think he's as competitive as some of these other characters anymore. Um, so with that, I unfortunately do have to actually move him to C tier. Uh, and the last change for B, I think Vi is also another character that's underplayed. Um, I think especially going for like leveling up her passive ability, which would give her some armor pen, some attack speed, being able to get her shield up. I think actually has a lot of really good sustained damage built in. Uh, her Q and R are really good for engaged. They're built in CC. Her E is an auto attack manipulator. I think she has a lot of good things in her kit. Um, she just doesn't have sustain, although she does have a built-in shield mechanic. 
Um, I think Vi is probably better than a lot of people think, but like Evelyn, I would like to actually see her in some games before I like put her that high. Um, because the, the, the line I'm drawing is really between B and C tier. So I'm going to move Vi down to C tier, but if we actually see her getting played or if she gets any direct buffs, I'm more than willing to move her up to B tier again. Um, and with that, that's really a lot of the like changes that need to happen. Um, I'm not moving anyone else in the tier list except for these five characters. The old tier list just didn't have them listed. It wasn't updated. So now I get to actually talk about them and give them a place in the tier list. Uh, so just going in alphabetical order, which everything on this list should be in alphabetical order. If you see something out of place, let me know and I'll fix that. Uh, we're going to start with Gwen. Gwen, I was really excited for. She's a very cool looking character. I like her animations and everything. Um, I wanted to rate her high, but she was pretty bad. Um, since her release, though, she's actually getting played quite a bit more and she's gotten some buffs. Um, most specifically, being able to have some healing built into her passive, giving her sustain, is huge. That's that's really the big thing I was really looking at for her, uh, on top of anything else that's happened. Uh, we actually see Gwen is starting to get some pro play as well, which is really cool. I think Gwen is higher in the tier list now than I would have put her on release. Um, but again, I really would like to see her actually getting played a little bit before I rate her too high. Um... So with that, in a li little bit of reluctance, I'm actually going to put her in B tier. Um, again, I would like her to actually get some play. This is a little bit higher than I would give for someone I'm speculating on, but I really do think Gwen has some opportunity here if she's just not getting played. Um, if we make it to the next patch cycle and she's still not getting played, or of course if she gets buffed or nerfed, I might be willing to move her, but she's a character I'm going to keep my eyes on. Um, on top of that, we have Rel, who came out. Um, Rel is just going to go right down here. She's just going to go to F tier, and I don't think there's anything else we have to say about her. Not that she's bad, but I would not recommend her for 1v1. You you could play her on Summoner Swift and have fun, just don't play her here. Uh, Set, so th Set's been in the game for quite a while. He just wasn't on the last tier list. Um, Set is good. We all know this. We see Set a lot. Uh, he's a very simple champion. He doesn't have a lot of mechanics, which if you look at Akshan, he has way too many. Um, but yeah, he has really good damage. Uh, he's got passive sustain built into his kit based on his missing health. Uh, his Haymaker being a shield and true damage is quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of good things to say about this guy. Um, I would like to see a little bit more like active healing on him, which he doesn't have. Um, but... There are, you know, runes and stuff you can take to kind of help him with that. Uh, all in all, I, I'm going to put Set in A tier. Uh, he's probably a little bit more towards lower A, but he's still he's still pretty good. Um, I, I feel I feel pretty good about putting him here. Viego, I think Viego is really good. I know like Viego gets picked occasionally, but not that often. But I really think Viego has a lot of the things you really want in a character. Uh, for for one villains at least. He has really good damage. He's got really good sustain. Uh, some of his abilities are just straight, like, giving him extra stats, which is always really good. Uh, unfortunately, his possession mechanic does absolutely nothing for you in 1v1. Um, but I still think Viego's really good. I'd like to see him get played a little bit more, so I'd feel a little more, more confident about this. But I, I feel pretty good putting him into A tier, and I feel like that's a good place for him. Uh, and then we have Yone. Yone, once again, has actually been in the game for a while, but wasn't on last tier list because that one hasn't been updated in forever. Um, Yone has some outplay potential. I actually really like his play style. If you want a, a character that has a very, like, harass kind of hit and run play style, Yone is not too bad. Um, on top of having some, like, percent health damage, he's mixed damage, he has a shield, he's got some CC in his kit, um, but he, he doesn't really, you know, having some sustain in your kit would be really good. Um, he's not bad, he's not great, um, I kind of feel like the best place to put him, though, is with his brother, Right? Like, Yasuo as well, like, isn't bad, but he's not exactly great either. Like, people aren't rushing to take that pick. 
Um, there's just there's just better. Maybe he'll get buffed someday, and I could put him up to B tier. But right now, I uh, I think this is about where to go. Uh, and with that, that's going to be actually all of the changes that we're going to do for patch 11.14. Um, I'm going to do another update with patch 11.15, but before we leave, I wanted to talk about some champions that I would like to see more of, um, either characters that I think are undervalued and could get picked, or characters I would like to see picked, that way we can get a better idea for them. Uh, and there's a few on this list, I'm just going to go through some of them really fast. Um, one of which is Gangplank. We don't see Gangplank, but Gangplank is crazy good on a player that has the skill and time developed into him. If you haven't played Gangplank, don't try to pick him for 1v1. You're, you're just going to fail. Um, but one of the bad things about Gangplank is that he's very mana-reliant. Howling Abyss gives you a bunch of mana regen for free. That's just part of playing on the map. So characters like Gangplank and Udyr that would normally run into mana problems might do better. Uh, I'm not saying Gangplank is B-tier. I'm just saying he has some potential. Um, and if there's anyone in the community that has spent a lot of time playing him... Maybe give him a try. He's he's actually a character that has some like pretty safe damage. Um, so he might work out. Um, other characters like Kira and Talon we don't see. And I don't necessarily think they're great. But they kind of fall into the same place as Rek'Sai who is A tier. Where they're extremely like burst heavy characters with some cheese potential. Um, you, you might be able to just burst someone down unexpectedly and win like that, which is mostly the, the play style when you pick Rek'Sai. Um, so, yeah, Kira and Talon have some potential. Not huge, but maybe give them a try and see. A few people have picked Kira. Um, I, a lot of people that pick Kira go Serrated Dirk for the extra damage, for the lethality. I get that. But if you're going for that, you have to end the game very fast because you will not have sustain and your opponent will. Um... So Guardian's Hammer might still be better, even though it'll deal less damage for her. Something to, to kind of think about. Um, and then other characters, Mundo and Gwen have gotten some updates. I, I'm keeping Mundo in B tier, but he's another character I'm, I'm a little iffy on. I think overall he's he got buffed with his rework. Um, I know they just nerfed his passive, which was a huge part of his kit, but I think Mundo is still really good. And Gwen, I also think is really good, but I'd like to see her get played in 1v1s a bit more before I would consider, like, placing her into A tier. Um, but yeah, those are just some picks that I think you can kind of pull out that your opponents won't be expecting, and you might be able to catch them off guard with that. Um, of course, Evelyn and Vi that I stepped down for those reasons. They could be better. They, they could be A tier, but nobody really plays them, so I don't know. Um, similarly, anyone else in C tier I think is probably okay. Uh, most of these, they just don't see play, though, so there's some potential there. Like, someone could pick out Nasus because he's got super high base stats, uh, playing him as, like, an AD bruiser and try to win like that, but we just don't largely see it, so it's really hard to figure that stuff out. But, yeah, uh, if you disagree with anything on here, leave a comment. It's okay, you can be mean to me. Um, or just show up for a tournament, and if you think somebody is better than I have them rated, make the pick and prove them. Like, especially if you're picking anyone C or below, let me know in chat once you've got that locked in, because I would love to see those matches. You know, if, if you think Fizz is A tier, pull them out and prove it to me. I would love to be proven wrong for some of these. Um, but right now, these are kind of my picks based on what I've seen. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks especially to everyone that actually plays in our tournament. Um... It's something I really enjoy. It gives me something to kind of do and look forward to every week. So I really appreciate the people that, you know, hang out and support me with that. But if you liked the video, share it with your friends, give a like, and join one of our free tournaments. We're doing four tournaments a week, either for League of Legends or Battlefy. All of them are free. So if you play on the North American server, why not? But yeah, I'm Leon. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all later. Bye.